Hey, and welcome back to Quick Cuts, where every second counts in your laser engraving and CNC journey. In this series, I give my best laser and CNC tips and tricks in about five minutes or less. In today's Quick Cut, we're gonna learn about how to add a custom name to an SVG file in Lightburn. This video and its examples are specifically tailored to laser files that I sell on my Etsy shop. Thank you to those who have purchased. We really appreciate the support. But these principles are not specific to only my files. They can be used on all sorts of laser file design and it's a useful skill to master. If you're interested in laser engraving and want to get started right away, I recommend you check out my Etsy shop linked below in the description. Not only do I have SVG files, I also sell laser materials and am working on a full line of build plans with Lightburn files. The goal is to make the store a place for new and experienced laser users to come and help their business or hobby. Let's go. Okay, so let's get into adding a custom name onto an SVG file. In this example, I'm going to be using one of my files from my Etsy page, and I'm going to show you three different ways to take care of this. So when you download one of my SVGs, you're going to have two separate pieces of artwork. You're going to have the actual design file on the left, and then you're going to have a circle backer file. The design file is meant to go on top of the backer file, creating your door hanger or sign. But first, before we cut this file out, we want to add a custom name to it. Here's the first way. So all we're going to do is going to go to our text tool, open up a text box, and we're going to type our name. And let's size this into our space the way that we want it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my name, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it, and drag this off to the side. This part that I dragged off to the side is actually what we're going to cut out. Now for this portion, I'm going to create an inward offset. So I'm going to go to my offset tool, and I'm going to make an inward offset at 0 0.02 inches. Press OK, and I'm going to delete my original lines. This is going to give me a guideline of where I'm going to place my letters on the sign in the end. But I need to do one more thing. I need to transfer these to the backer. So all I'm going to do to accomplish that is I'm going to select my circle backer vector, hold down shift, and then select my design vector. And then I'm going to press the align both vertical and horizontal centers button to align these both together. Now I'm going to unselect everything, select my design file here, and I'm going to drag that off. And that's going to leave me with my layout lines centered onto my backer. And I'm going to group these two together to make sure those don't move. And now that I have all my layers assigned, we have our completed sign. Again, we have our name that we're going to cut out in blue. We have our scoring area here in red, which is going to help us align our pieces when we glue them on. And then we have in black the backer vector and the design vector. So when we put everything together, we're going to wind up with something like this. And again, if I move all the parts out, these are all of our parts for the sign. So that's the first way to add a name to this SVG file. Let's try another way. So just like before, we're going to start with the text tool. For this style, I like to use a script font, but you can use whatever you want. And now I'm going to overlay my name onto my sign, and I'm going to size this to fit into my space. And don't worry, this does not have to be perfect at this point because I'm going to show you how to fix the rest of it here in a second. Okay, so this is about where I want the name, but you can see it doesn't quite fit in this area. The K is a little big and the L is a little small. I'm going to select my name and I'm going to right click and press the convert to path button. What this is going to do is it's going to allow me to click all of these different parts of this text name here. So now I can edit each one of these individually. First thing I'm going to do is take the K and I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit from the top and I'm going to shrink the bottom. I'm going to select the A, R, and O. I'm going to pull this in just so it's barely touching the K here. You can see I just barely have that overlapping. Now I'm going to select the L and I'm going to move this to the left so it's just barely touching the O. And I'm also touching the sign part up here and down below. Okay, so now that I have my name centered and placed exactly where I want it, I'm going to ungroup it and I'm going to go over my menu on the left and I'm going to weld everything together. That is going to turn this all into one shape now. I'm going to change this back to my zero layer, my cut layer. While this is still selected, I'm going to hold down shift and click on the design vector. So now they're both selected at the same time. I'm going to go back to my menu, and I'm going to click on Boolean Union of Two Shapes. What that's going to do is merge my design vector and my name vector into one. Now we have our second completed SVG. In this case, we would cut out our design and glue it onto our backer, making a two-layered sign with a name on it. 
So now we've talked about two ways to add a name to an SVG. Let's try one more, a third way to do this. So this is going to start out really similar to the second version. First, we'll start out with the text. Pick your font. Again, a script font usually works best for this because I like to connect these all together. We're going to overlay this onto our design, just getting a general fit. We're going to right click on the name, click convert to path. We're going to fit all of our letters. Then I'm going to connect these floating letters here. So that way they're touching just ever so slightly. I'll select all of my letters and all the different parts. Instead of welding this together at this point, I'm going to create another offset. First thing I want to do is copy my name because much like the first version, this part that I copied is going to be something that we're going to cut out later. So I'm going to drag that to the side. I'm going to click on my first name, go to my offset tool. This time I'm going to create an outward offset about 0.1 inches and I'm going to delete my original set of letters. I'm going to ungroup this and delete just these little cuts here. Click on my letters, hold down shift, click on the design and use my boolean subtract tool. Now what this is going to do is create a backer for my name that I'm going to cut out. Now I'm going to change this name layer to one, that's my cut layer. So if we put this third version together we have our backer, we have our design piece which goes together and our third layer is going to be a raised name and we will glue this onto our sign like so. So there you have it. Three different ways that we can use Lightburn to add a custom name onto an SVG file. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the description below. I'd be happy to help you out. Well, there you have it. Short on time, big on value. That's the motto of Quick Cuts. If you enjoyed today's tips or have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Hopefully this video helped you better understand how to customize SVG files in Lightburn. It is a great skill to learn because let's face it, customization is king in the laser world. We've got to know how to do it. Thanks a lot for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.